another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Bliss ROM on this device. This is the 13th May 2020 build of this ROM. Now if I go into the Android version here you can see the Android version is 10 of course. Now if I go back the security patch is of latest May 5th 2020. Here is the stock kernel which is Azure Performance Plus or something. And here is the build number let me go back here it shows the blizz version as 12.7 if you're noticing in the system panel we also have a system updater if you go into this blizz updater you can check for updates from here whenever you want to and here in the gesture settings we have the system navigation gesture where you will find the android 10 gestures and you can customize it like this as you can see there are plenty of customizations if you're noticing the toggles over here looks a bit different and i have increased this gesture bar size which is this one and that is the reason why this white bar on the bottom looks a little bit larger you can also hide this if you want to two and three button navigation like the older android versions are there too if you want to use that this is how the home screen looks like this is actually the bliss launcher kind of modified launcher i would say and here if you go into the settings there are multiple interesting things but one thing is missing is that like in this app drawer you cannot hide this recents or like these suggestions over here suggestion of the apps you cannot really hide it i guess launcher settings we have the notification dots customization then we have the add icon home screen and stuff show google app to the left is there double tap to sleep anywhere in the like home screen is there so that's really cool add a glance feature is there then the icon pack you can change it from here and then there is the show gradient on top and stuff then show gradient on bottom both are there but yes again you cannot hide this suggestion but I can double tap and here on the home screen and as you can see the phone just went to sleep and one more in interesting feature that is there if you're noticing I have five of my fingers so I'm not tapping my fingerprint scanner and here if I double tap the screen it just wakes up and the face unlock does work let me do it again as you can see the face unlock worked fine and let's try it again yes it's not the fastest way of unlocking but yeah the face unlock is back and that is working super fine now let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed again let me try it again that's how the fingerprint scanner unlocks and i would say the fingerprint scanner speed is not bad at all and let me decrease the brightness all the way then double tap to lock and then if i unlock as you can see the brightness stays at the same like stage it does not increase the brightness a lot so that bug is not simply here which you find maybe in havoc OS or something so that's cool and the anx camera is the default camera over here which should work pretty fine let me show you there is the photo mode ultra pixel mode and stuff is there portrait mode is there let me try the front camera yes the front camera works fine too now if i go into the video mode here we do have the vlog mode if you are noticing so yeah and then if you go into the settings we can shoot the video up to 1080p 60 and then 4k 30 fps of course there won't be 4k 60 fps available but up to 4k 30 fps option is there if you are noticing you can definitely install google camera 7 if you would like here is a card for you if you want to install google camera 7 on this like rom now let me go into the settings and show you the customizations yes inside blissify there are plethora of customizations you do not need to worry about customizations in this rom but before i show you those let me talk about the flashing procedure well it was pretty simple like any other rom if you have the latest orange fox recovery installed you just need the 11.0.8 firmware right now to be one if you are already on that firmware you don't need to flash it if you are coming from a different rom just wipe cache dalvik system data and then flash this rom file and reboot if your storage is encrypted like me if your storage is decrypted you can flash the dfe or something with that and you do not need any g apps as this rom includes the g apps of course and inside status bar this is really cool that inside like every customization panel it shows which panel are you in so that is really cool of this like rom and inside status bar we have the clock style like changing option right left or hidden then custom clock kind of option is there you can have am pm style etc from here if you are noticing even date and stuff and then battery style option is there we have the icon portrait circle dot circle field circle etc no big circle though we have the battery percentage enabling option like enabled or inside the icon you can choose that battery percentage while charging is there so that's cool inside system icons you will find the headset bluetooth etc kind of icons advanced system icons is there so you can choose the vaulty icons over here we have this bliss style sony pill shape everything like 
a lot of vaulty icons are there that I have never seen but I don't have a sim card in this device yet. You can choose any vaulty icon and the vaulty should work fine over here on this ROM. And the logo option is there, you can have a custom logo and status bar weather and weather placement option is there. Then there is the small mobile type icon and stuff, 4G icon instead of LTE and then Bluetooth battery states are there. Now let me go back, we have the network traffic monitor or network traffic indicator. You can customize that if you want to. I am using a different app for that and here we have the brightness control too so you can slide on the status bar just like this like sliding a finger on the status bar gets you to this kind of customization of adjusting the brightness of the screen on the go so that is really cool in the quick settings we have the header kind of image you can pick one image up if you want that or you can change the colors we have quick pull down from right or left choosing option then there is the clock on the quick settings panel too you can like customize it i guess and then there is the system info kind of thing where you can have the cpu temperature battery temperature and stuff and the show data usage in quick setting header style is there auto brightness and brightness control buttons are there which are like this one and this is how the quick setting panel looks like by the way i do not see the fps info option over here which is kind of weird i think i saw that in the previous updates but yeah the fps info option is just not here but there is the screen recording option let me show you which screen recorder is this i think this is the oxygen West kind of yeah this is the oxygen West kind of screen recorder we can choose the audio to like internal audio or microphone audio so yeah that's cool you can also like change the bitrate of the video you can also like change the resolution from here of course so yeah screen record should work fine but there is no fps info option and then if i scroll down we can customize the column and row numbers then quick setting themes you have that you can have a different color for that and blur behind the quick settings panel is there so that's cool blur intensity and stuff you can customize the new tint style is there and the tile title you can disable it too if you want that then we have the replace clear text and stuff edit icon display footer text a lot of customizations if you're noticing battery style again is there for the quick settings panel this one is and then battery percentage and stuff battery estimates in the animation section we have the system animation and here you can customize the whole ui animation of course screen of animation you can change it to crt scale or simple fade so that's cool let me go back to the buttons here we have the invert layout option if you're using two or three button navigation and if inside power menu we have the advanced restart option let me show you if it actually shows up so yeah if i tap on restart as you can see we have the directly rebooting to recovery or fast boot option so that's cool and then we have the long press for toggle torch let me show you if it actually works so yeah as you can see it does work volume panel customization is there and the volume panel looks really really interesting if you are noticing this is how it looks like let me show you from the home screen over here looks really cool in my opinion you can adjust it just like this so yeah pretty cool feature i would say in terms of this volume panel looks kind of square ish kind of thing and then we have the media ring alarm etc volumes over here you can have the timeout for the volume panel too that's cool so i'll just increase it to five and then we have the show panel on left settings if you want the volume panel on the left side and you want to control it with the left hand you can do that too then we have the wake up device and the answer call and stuff with the buttons control playback option is there keyboard cursor control is there if you need that inside lock screen we have the lock screen clock style so you can change the lock screen clock to these many options as you can see this one looks cool but it doesn't show up over there so yeah pretty cool like we have so many options for the lock screen itself looks quite dope now let me go back we have the high date widget if you want that date style and stuff you can customize then we have quick settings power menu etc and secure power menu is there then we have the lock screen charging animation you can have it on flash or something else then there is the charging info option and charging animation and stuff is there wake up on plug disabling option is there and one more my most favorite feature is there which is the force authentication of with the fingerprint scanner so this means it will always unlock with the fingerprint scanner even if you reboot the device you do not have to enter pin for the first time so that's really really cool but this feature only will work if your storage is like decrypted but my storage is encrypted so i cannot really use that feature right now you gotta be decrypted to use this four swing a bit authentication feature and then there is the music visualizer media artwork level and stuff let me go into the gestures we have the double tap to sleep on the status bar and lock screen then swipe to take screenshot is there and this as you can see is the asus kind of screenshot option and let me show you if this like actually works with the long screenshot 
so yeah it looks like it's capturing the screenshot let's go to edit and yep this long screenshot with like doodle and stuff everything is working with the asus kind of longer screenshots now let's go into notifications we have the edge lighting option if you need that you can have the edge lighting color to like whatever you want as you can see from here and then if you scroll down we have the repeat count and stuff accent color for whatever and options are there then there is a heads up disabling option notification ticker and stuff is there breathing sms etc let me go down we have the vibrate on connect call call waiting and disconnect i'll just disable them i like the vibrate on connect though then we have the blink flashlight for incoming call option blink for call waiting and stuff now let me go back to the themes and here we have the like custom kind of themes let's allow these and you can have a custom theme from here as you can see you can choose it let me go back then we have the accent color presets and here you get like plethora of customizations for the accent color presets you can also like customize the rgb accent color as you can see from here and right now as you can see by default the accent color is looking like this if i change the accent color to let's guess like red and then the gradient color is blue right now so it should look yeah as you can see it has a gradient right now on the accent colors so the volume panel looks red it should look like red and blue over here but yeah that's how it is that's how it looks right now and then there is the primary color option over here then we have the icon shapes lot of options for this too and inside shaders bar icon you can have it rounded filled circular or the default one so yeah pretty much a lot of themes and stuff inside mode we have the few bit authentication vibration and stuff gaming mode is there if you want this to be enabled but i don't still see the fps kind of enabling option and then we have the rounded corner customization if you want to have the like status bar padding and stuff those things are there cpu info and stuff is there force close notification is there screenshot type you can change it to full or partial then let me scroll down we have the launching app while like connecting a headset and stuff then allow signature spoofing and stuff is there but i don't see the like default usb configuration options over here for that i think i have to go to the developer options i guess so that's all the customizations inside display settings we have the brightness level night light live display and stuff is there you have the color calibration rgb of the screen so that's cool let me scroll down we have the full screen apps double tap to wake is there dark theme you can use that and this override dark mode is actually like forces an app to have totally black kind of background like MIUI 12 so yeah that thing is there let me go back to the sounds if you scroll down we have the me audio direct or the me sound enhancer you can choose it to like whatever headphones you have and the sound output for the headphone jack and bluetooth as well should be pretty good not a problem you can disable the screenshot sound although if your phone is in silent or vibrate i think the screenshot sound does not happen and then inside vibration and haptic feedbacks we have the touch vibration vibrate for calls ringtone vibrator intensity you can have only this like ringtone vibrator intensity so that's cool i'll choose to strong then notification vibration i'll put it to like light and here you can have the ringtone vibration pattern to these many options security settings and again we have the face unlock option here so that is really cool that the face unlock is back at it again i am really really liking it the default keyboard is like gboard over here so that's not a problem i think these animations are like 0.5x or something by default so it does feel a really really smooth and fast experience right here while opening apps and stuff it feels a lot smoother if you're noticing and here is how the battery settings looks like we have the battery temperature on the bottom and then smart charging battery charging warning and stuff is there battery saver and performance options are there you can have the extreme power saving option mode and stuff and the 18 watt fast charging should be working pretty fine the battery life should be pretty good you can get definitely about six plus hours of screen on time with this rom easily in terms of daily driving performance and stuff this should be pretty good you can play pubg and stuff normally no issues and here is the geekbench 5 score of this rom for normally playing games and stuff it should be pretty fine now i have tested this led rgb remote app and with this the ir blaster is actually working fine no issues and here inside the drm info we have the security level as l1 so you can stream netflix or amazon prime videos on 1080p not a problem and in terms of banking apps they should be working pretty fine too as this passes the safety net test so google pay and stuff should be working right out of the box you don't even need magic and also this rom has audio effects if you need that as you can see you can set any kind of presets for the sounds and it should be working pretty fine 
and this is the default wallpaper of this rom and the widgets and stuff on the home screen is working fine again and to the left of the home screen we have the google's discover page of course swiping down gets you to the notification panel swiping up gets you to the app drawer and double tapping on the home screen anywhere like puts the phone into sleep that is the most interesting feature of this rom i would say and set this bliss paper wallpaper app we have a lot of wallpapers as you are noticing but you need to have internet for this and you can apply any wallpapers from here there is also a collection section so yeah pretty cool wallpaper app present by default over here and then there is the bliss stats and stuff keeps loading there are some models and stuff i don't know what it does so yep that's pretty much it guys that's all i had to say about this bliss rom this is one of the most interesting roms out there for the redmi note 7 pro and i'll definitely recommend using this rom as a daily driver because this rom is just stable and packed with a lot of features like this volume panels and stuff which you will find nowhere in other roms so yeah pretty cool thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel now if you have not yet this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now